I just wanted to express my uh, my disappointment with the planning commission uh, regarding the Chandler House. Um, I found it interesting that, uh, that you looked at it, but you really you couldn't find something restrictive enough to make it comfortable for you. For which issue, Pat? You broke up. Sorry. I'm sorry. I, I was I was speaking about the uh, the chicken ordinance. Yeah. Okay. And I was saying, you know, when this was originally presented to the planning commission, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Yep. When it was originally presented to the planning commission, the issue was we want to do it because just like dogs and cats and other animals, these do not have impact on the community. They're Chickens are in the community as we speak, and you've got an issue with your zoning law. So council presented it to the planning commission. The planning commission w went back and forth, and they, they can't seem to... Now, not only can't they seem to figure out what regulation should be put on it, but they're finding so many issues that it shouldn't happen at all. Yet, I'd point out, in our community, it's happening... But mm, there's no issues. So, you know, this is a this appears to be a fear of the unknown. And you know, I would hope that uh, I, I wish I had had the chance to to say something before you got all the way to the end of the meeting. But uh, those are my comments. So thank you. I let me respond to that, Tim. Due respect, Pat. I think you completely misinterpreted our discussion a couple of months ago. Frankly, we were caught cold by that whole thing. Mm -hmm. uh, my recollection is uh, that we made a little bit of light of it, of it at the time. Maybe we should not have done that. Uh, we now have the regulation <clears throat> in front of us. We've had two months to think about it. And personally, uh, characterize it how you will. I think it's a bad idea. Hmm. It, it's, <clears throat> I, I understand like, you know, your, your position that it's a bad idea. But others in the community are, you know, have chickens. Others in the, in the, uh, in the surrounding areas have chickens without causing any issue to their neighbors. Uh, and that's, that's why I say saying that. I don't know that I know that, and I don't know what facts are there are to support that. And, and that's what I would ask. That's what I would hope the planning commission would have done. Would have been to to take a look at chickens and the way they're kept. I don't know either. I don't have any chickens. Well, here, let me, what I looked at and what I've been reading for the last two months is okay. that there are rules and regulations in cities or in towns like Mount Lebanon that have chickens. They have, they're very specific rules and regulations on how things happen and how they're taken care of and where their poop is in the yard and they can go pages and we have a three page document that outlines exactly what what family pets should be and which they should be allowed to do in their yard and to me with our problems that we have with infestation of rodents we, I think we have a problem that needs to be controlled by how their feed is taken care of, how their uh, uh, compost is taken care of, and that sort of thing. So that's why I said nay with the way that the law is written or how it's written, because there is possibilities, but not with what we have. So I would, I would concur, Justine. Maybe what you've got, and again, I don't have it in front of me. I, you know, I've heard from people that the rodent issue is is not really an issue. Oh. But I don't know that. I do, personally. I okay. do. Okay. And yeah, I also I, had somebody tell me when they killed 16 rats on a certain street in Bridgeville, why are we talking about chickens? Damn good yeah. question. No, I, can, uh, I don't disagree about the rodent problem we have in our community. We have a rodent problem. That's not a question. We have a rat problem in a number of areas of our community. Again, not, not questioning that. I am questioning 
whether the chickens create a rodent problem any more did you than read this ordinance did you read what it said about composting I, no i i haven't seen anything Larry. okay all right that answers I, the question you know all i'm saying is there are there are chickens there are chickens in the surrounding communities it doesn't seem to be as much of a problem as we're creating the ordinance that we're looking at. I that don't really know that you know that, and I really don't know that, you know, unless we had the facts that we should be saying those kinds of things. Yeah, and I'll tell you, so, Pat, I appreciate the thoughts. I, I do take exception to the idea that this was somehow some flippant decision that we haven't thought about. Justine mentioned reading things for the last two months. I put a lot of thought in it. Originally, being a champion of, hey, every red-blooded American should be able to have chickens if they want to. I think what, what my primary concern would be is we don't have a history of very strong code enforcement in the borough. That's no knock to anybody present or here, but I look at that and consider that of if this becomes something untenable, uh, do we have a realistic expectation of getting that under control very quickly? And I, I, personal opinion of one, I don't. I want to see some traction, I think, with, with new administrations and new personnel uh, bolstering those code enforcement efforts before I'm very comfortable saying, yeah, let's, let's try it. So again, not right or wrong, but I do take exceptions to the idea that there wasn't thought put into how we voted. One of the other communities that I was, I looked into actually asked whether or not they could do a one year, uh, evaluation and with limited permits to see how it goes. And that's how what they actually did, um, like I said, with limited permits for a 12 month period and see what happens. 